Hi there. We're working on the carbon and zinc cell we had the other day. I've um, stripped it down to tape up the um, uh, collector onto the electrode. So hopefully we don't get any electrolyte up under this copper plate, which I think was the cause of the um, decay. I've um, pulled, they're the same sheets we were using in the copper zinc cell with the two, four pad, no, three pads each side. I've um, had them soaking in the electrolyte because they were just drying out. Today we we know how it works without the separator. We're going to put another separator between the two carbons, and um, I'll construct the cell. So we've got a zinc plate here. Oh, they're too deep. Right, got them out finally. So that seems like a light one. So that's a standard carbon, I think. Another standard carbon. So we got three standard carbons. A separator. We'll um, put some electrolyte on that. This has been sit sitting out here for like three or four days. It's a bit more concentrated now because it's evaporated due to the 40 something degrees. But that would be even better. Wasn't that much fuller than that. So the carbon pads will be fully saturated. We're just saturating the separator now. These are the three manganese dioxide layers. And our taped up electrode. Piece of glass under the bottom, extra stiffening. Oh, I'm sweating, as you can see. It's um thirty-two point two and it's only eleven AM. So we gotta sort of work quickly. All right, turn the meters on. All right, connecting. Okay, we're 1.44 like we were last time. We're gonna just do 15 minute charges because it's too hot today to have it run for too long. I don't know how many experiments we're gonna get on it. Ah. <sighs> Uh, computer says there's no internet, so I'll be back. Okay, I had to restart the laptop. Doesn't like being turned on without internet, doesn't detect it. Uh, for a short circuit on the newly fabricated cell with the separator in between, we're 97 milliamps. Hmm, it's looking okay. Maybe it needs that separator. The carbons are, I think, the other day I measured the carbons again with the resistance and they were 700 ohms for the manganese dioxide one. <clears throat> that dropped us off in a few volts. 
All right, so we'll do a um, 15 minute charge now, once the browser loads up. All right, connecting power supply. We're 180 milliamps and 2.69 volts. Okay, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, we're slowly decreasing in milliamps. It's going slower now. But we're not going back up and down like we were before without the white separator. The white separator has the um, cellulose acetate membrane coated over it as well, but just one layer. And we're coming up to our 15 minutes. I have the data logger connected. Okay, hopefully it's working. We're at 119.9 milliamps, 3 volts on the multimeter and 2.8 there. Disconnecting the charge. The cell might be able to take a longer charge now by the looks of that. Alright, that's 2.2 and we're 2.13 on the multimeter. Alright, we'll connect. We'll do the test again. 30 milliamp load, 0 0.49 cutoff time. One point nine six on the multimeter, two up there. All right, so the cell looks about the same so far. So the se extra separator is not doing, I mean, it's not harming the cell by the looks of it. But I think the first time we tried to sell for a half a fifteen minute charge it did an hour's run time or something. On about twenty six milliwatt hours. So we seem to be decreasing quickly. I'll check the cell's temperature. Ah, that's thirty. Ambient, just over somewhere here. 32. Oh, it's getting cooler. Oh no, the table is 33. <clears throat> we'll be needing to do a couple of tests, I think, to see if the um, power output declines like it was originally. I think it's the collector getting wet. Anything under the collector plate becomes a cell of its own. Okay, I'll be back in a half hour, but it's still above a volt. We may get the one volt above half hour. We're closing in on it though, we're 26 minutes and we're at 1.011 and it's holding pretty well. And temperature, doesn't feel as hot. Cells 30 degrees, the tabletop still 33.6. Hmm, laptop still pretty high.
And we're at 17 milliwatt hours. The 26 may have been a half hour charge. I should really look at the video. Well, it's going to be close. I don't think we're going to make it. We got three minutes to go, and only point zero zero. Oh, uh oh. Oh, we got 27 minutes above one volt. Not too bad. I'll be back in the next update. Okay, this first run was quite interesting. 41 milli, oh, 42 milliwatt hours and hour and 30. We still haven't reached our cutoff time yet, but we're not going to produce much more compared at that wattage. Oh, we're still 0.2 watts up. It's normally at one by now. That was on a 15 minute charge. So that's not too bad. So the next 15 minutes has to do the same. So we're 42 hour and a half. I'll stop the test. And we'll connect the motor and we'll see what happens directly after a test. So we got one one volt there and one there. Okay, I'll connect the load and we'll see what we get. Oh yes, yeah, depleted. I was still holding 0 0.7 and 24 milliamps. Not too bad-ish. And a short circuit, 60. Alright, so now we got to see if it declines in power wise. So 42 milliwatt hours we have to go for. Setting the charge. Oh, we jumped off the scale a bit. Oh, we'll check the temperature of the cell. That might help us. So we got 2930, 31, 33. So we're around about 33 degrees for the cell. The milliamps went up this time, same voltage. Oh yeah, here we are, we're dropping now. I don't know, we're fluctuating. Uh, here we go, we're dropping now. Okay, I'll be back in 15. Okay, coming up to our 15 minutes for the second time. We're down to 131 milliamps. It does decrease. Uh, a lot slower. We've made it to 2.96 this time on the meter. Hopefully this is still functioning. Oh yeah, I've seen the voltage move. 2.78 and 2.9 on the multimeter there. Uh, disconnecting the charge. 2.1 on the multimeter. 2.1 up there. Alright, I'll um, start the second test. 15 minute charge, 30 milliamp load. We need to beat 42 milliwatt hours and an hour and 30 minutes. Or somewhere close to that mark. And then we'll probably have to repeat that one more time. That should be a good indicator. Could be just adding that extra separator. The plain piece, coated. I 
I haven't added any electrolytes since the first time we set it up. I'm going to try to keep it that way because some of the tape on one side, the higher edge, is lifting so electrolyte probably hits the tape now and probably goes up and in. I was thinking I should glue it there and seal it up along the edge at the back. Might be a better option. So for the ease of construction, these things make um, good test cell sample things. You can go through a multiple of cell choices really quickly and clean. You only got your mixing stage, your drying stage, and then once it's all dry, you can just clean hands from there on, except for the electrolyte. I reckon the membrane works better soaked overnight or more. It sucks it up. The cellulose should absorb the moisture and start swelling over a few days. Alright, I'll leave this and uh, come back in a half hour and we'll check it um, what it's doing. Quick update. We're at 19 milliwatt hours and it's 29 minutes and we're at 0.964 volts still it's looking good it's on schedule for doing 42 milliwatts by the hour by the hour yeah so so far okay it's only the second charge so we'll give it another go the cell's still holding up I forgot to check the temperature on camera but it's getting cooler around the house. Weather's dropping. I don't know. Table's getting hotter. Or the laptop. Somewhat. Okay, I'll get back. Okay, somewhat missed the end of it. Um, it ran for an hour, and one hour, and it did 33 milliwatt hours. That's still not too bad, considering when we put it together, the short circuit was up near 90 milliamps. So we would have drained it the first run, and this is probably averaging out. We'll do another half hour charge, but first, since we got 1.3 volts, It matches there too, 1.3. And uh, we'll run run the motor for a second or two. Dropping rapidly. Yeah, good enough test. I'll give it another charge at the same voltage, which is, oops, gotta turn it on, which is 2.6 volts, 190 milliamps, just went up a bit. I set the timer. Yeah, I'll be back in 15 minutes to see what we have. We're at 190 now, 189. 
Okay, we're coming up to 15 minutes. We're at 14.40. And we're at 126.1 milliamps and 2.97 volts. Alright, that's 15 minutes. Disconnecting the charge. Okay, 2.1 volts, 15 minute charge it was. 30 milliamp load, cutoff voltage 0 0.49. Starting test 3. So hopefully this this run will get 30 milliamps as well for an hour, whatever it was. I'm gonna try a half hour one after this because uh, 126 milliamps left was still declining. So it's looking okay. It's holding its voltage, not too bad. Right, the cell's temperature this time was 30 now. It was only like 32, 33. So we're not heating it up. I got a 33 up it. Table temp is 35.6. 46 for the poor laptop. It's got another hour. Does feel warm to the touch. Okay, I'll get back. Half hour update. It's been 31 minutes. We're at 0 0.8. We're somewhat probably down, but we're at 19 milliamp milliwatt hours at the moment. So that's 19 milliwatt hours. So maybe close. You'd probably expect some differences. All right, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, we haven't quite reached the cutoff voltage, but we're somewhat down. We're 25 milliwatt hours and 50 minutes, and at 0 0.538 volts. I think the last one was 30 milliwatt hours at one hour, that last run. So we'll try um, a half hour charge. I'll do a charge curve on that one, so I'll um, set it up. So we'll stop this. So we've got 25 milliwatts. I don't think it, it will probably not last another nine minutes. And we'll try that one on the motor for a bit. Connecting. Yeah, we're down. And the short circuit of it. Still at 60 milliwatts. Alright, I'll um, connect the other cables and set up for a uh, charge curve to see what happens.
Okay, that's our charge curve for half hour. Uh, I added a bit of electrolyte around the outside and I didn't think it would matter, but it's um, a real little bit, you can't even notice. This part here was going all wrinkly. It was like drying out, so I just smeared a small amount there. And then it went like that. Still on charge now, so it's dropping again, I think. So I don't know, it sort of was charging up to around about there, around about nine, ten minutes. Then it sort of mildly increased till that point there. All right, I'll just disconnect the charge. Okay, now that's the cell's voltage. I'll just get rid of those leads. Connecting the data logger. Okay, data logger's done. Oh, I should turn that off. Right, turn that off. Reset the graph. time lapse of the discharge I'll set that up and then we'll be off Okay, that half hour charge only got us to 52 minutes and we were at 26 milliwatt hours so it has declined but the cell itself has um, dried out a heap, it's quite hot, oh, not the cell but around the temperature, it's um, 36 degrees, seems to be getting hotter, yeah, what's this at? 43. So I'll um, soak the cell in electrolyte. I mean, soak the um, paper towel coated in active material back in the electrolyte and call it the day. So it's not too bad performance with the extra um, separator in there. Oh, we might as well check out what's left in the cell. On the motor for a second or two. Alright. Connecting to the motor. Oh yeah, only 22 milliamps. The voltage is up somewhat though. Yeah, and a short circuit. 40. So that dropped heaps. Alright, I'll um, upload and thanks for watching.